control one. So he's got his elbow blocking off this near side. Head and near our head. And he's controlling my hip with his arm. Okay, so again, possibly we'll, we'll um, look at where my hand should be in this position. Basically, I want a hand right here. Sometimes this is okay. This is, well, it's not great because he can attack this through the and yang and we've got this in here position. This is not great. This is better me keeping my hand under the armpit here because I've still made a frame. My right hand is in the hip, okay? Um, or the underhook, which we look at in the next move, which is basically my hand coming under this armpit. So, um, I'm going to look at the Heisman escape. So basically, anytime I can see his armpit, I can do the Heisman with. I think we, we taught this when we were playing the mark game. Okay, so it's a concept we'll look at that in a minute. So, so I, can't, I don't really have the profile here because I'm too close to um, Ryan's armpit here. So I keep my frames, so my right hand's in the hip, my left hand is under his armpit. I'll bridge a little bit and just kind of shuffle a little bit this way. So I'm moving and Ryan's kind of moving down my body. Okay? I make a C grip with my right hand and I just put it in his armpit. And I'm going to push Ryan as close to my left hip as I can. So I'm just pushing him to this position here. Okay? From there, I've got a straight arm, so I'm structurally strong. I'll bring out my left hand, I'm coming all the way up to my elbow. And then from my elbow, to my hand. And I just, I want to make sure that this arm is straight. And I'm just pushing him all the way over. Now, it's never going to go that smooth because he, he's got a base. Okay, so let's do that again. If you get that, that's fine, but that's unlikely. So when he gets to control one, and I've swung this inside and I've made my frames, I'll do a little bridge and I'll shuffle up a little bit just so his, his armpit isn't like, um, really um, close to my head. So I'm going to put my right hand on his armpit and I don't push him to the side and I don't push him towards my legs. I push him kind of at a 45 degree angle sort of towards this left hip. So I'll push it as far as I go to get my right arm straight, okay? Then I'll come up with my hand and on my elbow. Now from there, Ryan's not gonna let me sweep him all the way over there. What he's probably gonna do is post with his hand on the Okay, just to get back. The common reaction is this hand was draped over his, his hip, right? If he knows I'm gonna um, sweep him this way, he's gonna bring this around and put it on the mat, but post it on the mat. Yeah, yeah, I got out straight. See the way now, see the way I can't sweep him that way because he's made a, a frame. Yeah, stay up, bro, don't let me push you over. Yeah, see the way he's made a frame with his, with his, with his right hand? So now from that position, again, he's, he'll be driving back in and he push with your right hand and try and come up on top. I'll just move my hips back. Butterfly guard, which we've looked at before. Okay, so again, one more time. So from control one, okay, I'll do a slight bump. I'll wiggle to get my body a little um, further up, so um, Ryan's um, further down my body. I find my C-clamp and I'll push him towards my left hip to get this kind of straight. Okay. Now I make a base. Okay, as I'm pushing up. Now from this position, more than likely, see the way he's brought his right hand from being draped over my leg to being here. So from there, so likely I'm actually going to push him all the way over. So now I just move my hips back. And he will come up on top. And we're into our butterfly guard. And I'll just use paddle bro so you can see. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Let's go. So Ava has me in control one. I just rape this arm. Okay. So my hands are in boxing hand position. Here and here. Okay. So from my position. I'll, I'll bump a little bit, okay, to get my body further up, and then I make a C clamp here, okay. So I'll push him as far as I can to my left hip. As I push this hand, he's already made that frame, so I'm just moving my hips back. He'll try to follow me and get on top, and when he does, again, one more time. So. If this hand's wandering, this is no good, I don't want this. This is not great. One bump, I'll get it inside. So I'll just bridge and get out to here a little bit, okay? And then from there, find the C-clamp. 
Okay, and I'll push him towards my left hip. He's gonna push with his right hand. Let me make a frame. I want my head higher than his. And again, if I can, I'll make this arm straight so I'm not using um, bicep strength to keep him here. Again, I'm moving my hips back. He's gonna be following me. Yeah, can move back, try to get on top. And when I do, just in my position. Butterfly guard, double unders, and you can play the game from here. We looked at this actually from the mount, from the mount team. Okay. So you on top, bro? You know, you know how to do an Americana, yeah? So say I'm here, maybe I'll bait him, and I'll just do this, and a common reaction is to push this, grab my wrist, is to push it to the mat, and then this one comes over, grabs the wrist, and then you go for your Americana. So from there, yeah, well, yeah, put the elbow on the mat, yeah. See the way, yeah? Nice. But from there, right? Get into your position, get the grip, look, watch. What, what can I see? This left it. armpit. Whoa. I've escaped again. Another thing we looked at was the back, single under stack pass. Just basically this pass here. Yeah. One of your fundamentals in jiu-jitsu, do a knee bro. So anytime this leg is over and he's made it free and he's about to pass, push his arm to it again. You just make a secret. Push, try to get on top, come on top, come on top. And you can just face it. Okay, so anytime you see the armpit, you can do that. Okay, so let's play with that, guys. 